In a cross-disciplinary team of fiber science and apparel design students and faculty, we have documented our process of adding value to secondhand clothing. Clothing has a short lifespan and is often donated to thrift stores or discarded. The quantity of used clothes exceeds the demand in the U.S. market. In 2012, the EPA reported that about 14.3 million tons of textile waste was generated and only about 16% was reclaimed for recycling. One strategy has been to export our used clothes to other countries, particularly developing countries. However, used clothes pile up and have the potential of also becoming waste there. Our project seeks to address this issue in Haiti. We find the gems in these markets. We take them back to our factory and we deconstruct them with a team of tailors. We then cut up the patterns and make new garments. And so, and we sell these back in Canada. Our mission is to mainstream refurbished fashion in a stylish, affordable, and accessible way. So that just means making it more accessible to the consumer, making it easier for other people to do. We know that we can't, we're not going to be the only ones. We aren't the only ones um, upcycling clothing. And so we just want to put this more into the limelight. And we see um, opening, once we really make this process efficient in Haiti, we see opening manufacturing sites in Ghana, in Brazil, in Mexico, in India, in Thailand. And we really believe that each country will bring its own style and its own aesthetic. And that will be, will create a really beautiful collection for our goal for this project is to help standardize the production process of upcycling used clothes for mass production. One of our team's goals is to determine low-cost recycling strategies that can be adapted into a factory setting. Our apparel design team has developed a workflow using reverse engineering for refashioning used clothing. We use secondhand clothing from local thrift stores and documented information about the garment measurements, fiber content, and weight to gauge what we started with. Then we deconstructed the garments to use the full span of their fabric. Before sewing the final samples, we did a virtual fit of the jacket and skirt using digital software, and the digitized patterns were virtually stitched onto the model. This gave us an idea of the shape and fit of the garments before we started. We created mock-ups to check the fit and shape again. These are the final mock-ups in the process of creating our final samples. We also reweighed the amount of fabric left over in order to know how much fabric we used and possibly diverted from becoming waste. In our production of four garments, we consumed 11 secondhand garments and used approximately 50% of the materials to obtain the desired fit and style of local buttons designs. Part of our process was also to develop a sizing system unique to local buttons, ranging from extra small to extra large, that can be tested on virtual models for fit accuracy. After the samples were finished, patterns were printed out in all sizes, and technical packs were developed. Everything was then ready to be shipped to Haiti to be mass-produced in 2014. Our professor, Tasha Lewis, visited Haiti in January to meet with the local Buttons team. While in Haiti, she saw the clothing in production, saw sample fittings, gave suggestions for adjustments, and saw the clothes on live models. It was exciting to see our work in a factory setting. While she was there, she also saw the workers reference the samples to make the garments. This was the first mass-produced jacket and the first mass-produced skirt. One of the issues our team is trying to address is what local buttons can do to reduce the amount of fabric waste left over from their production process. Our Cornell team has developed a post-consumer textile waste recycling matrix. We are building a prototype of a fiberization machine to convert the small and unusable fabric pieces to fiber form. The fibers produced can be utilized in packaging, toys, padding, insulation, and many other applications. This way we can achieve the zero waste landfill solution.